Hi everyone, I'm back and I have a stretch for you today. I've realised I've not done much on back flexibility, so today we're going to look at that. Now, as skaters, we do rely upon having a flexible back. Well, not rely upon it, we use it. For those of you that are a bit more advanced, it's important for spins and choreography. It looks lovely to have a little lay back position at times or that movement in the upper body throughout your transitions. And then, of course, you do have like lay back and Billman spins on top of that that require an extensive back bend. For those of you that are not quite at that stage yet, it's still useful. It's range of motion, it's being able to move freely, it feels good, it helps you to release. So it's useful to everyone. I'm going to start off with an exercise from ballet, a pour de bras, a very simple one, not really worrying about the feet too much, and then move on and show you some more intensive stretches for lay backs. Okay, the lay back position. So take it wherever you can. Feel yourself stretched, but don't, it shouldn't be painful. It should be stretching. And it's very important to remember that we're always going to follow it. That's my dog. We're always going to follow it with a strong, uh, strong, just with a forward bend to uh, contrast and recover from the action because you should always having stretch backwards, always stretch forwards as well to level it out and look after the muscles. So you will need a chair. You're going to put it by your side. It's going to act as a bar for this. So it's a little bit of ballet bar exercise. You're also going to need it for support for the lay back intensive position. We're going to start with our feet neutral. And all we're going to do, let the arm relax down the side. Uh, you can look at my port de bras videos for some arm action and moving floating arms. We're going to lift the arm up, our hips are under, ribs are in, core is strong, and pulling up through the body, and lift the arm up. And I'm just going to gently bend at the shoulders and push the pelvis forward, and then return to centre, drop the arm, follow it round, and up again, reach up. I'm extending up and through as I pull back, so I'm elongating the length of my body. The bar is there for support, you shouldn't be clinging to it but it's good to know it's there, okay? And then pull it down. The third time, we're gonna do exactly the same. Pull up, lean back, and then we're gonna drop down and forward fold, forward bend to the floor, stretch it out, and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And I did cover a video on that as well earlier on. We're then gonna rise, releve, and lower, and turn the feet to a first position hips over knees, over ankles, ribs in, hips under, good posture, working that turn out, which we use as skaters, same thing, so we're going to go up, back bend, and the pelvis following through to the shoulders, drop it down, and pull up, back bend, let the head go back, that should be the last part of the movement, relax it, relax the neck, this time up, back bend, and we're going to go down to the side, roll forward, go towards the bar, reach out and go through that back bend there, and then reverse it behind to the bar, roll forward, engine at the hips, just hold, we'll take the hand off the bar there for a moment, head drop, and then return up in place, and then we could turn around and do it the other side, but I just need the bar across. Always turn towards the bar. It's a thing from ballet. Same thing, back to neutral. So I just go, uh, I've got my posture, ribs, hips forward, and I just go back bend. Follow the arm down, arm up, back bend, pelvis first, following all the way through to the shoulders, arm round. Not clinging to the bar, just relax. Up, back bend, pelvis forward as far as you can, let the neck relax, and then we lean forward, forward fold. Awesome. Again, here as well, I forgot to mention that, so you can release the arm. Come back up, 
unfolding vertebrae by vertebrae, releve, rotate in the hips, and feet out to first, and the same. Up, back bend, follow the arm. Up, back bend, follow the arm. Up, back bend, and this time we go down, out to the side, bottom, let the head hang, and then up, and then back to the bar. Oh, go back to the back bend, three. Back round, reverse it through the back bend. There, arm off, keep the hips, and then follow it round. And that's the ballet exercise. That's just a nice warm up. It's a good one if you're starting out with back flexibility. If you are more advanced and you're a skier and you're higher up in your skating and you're working towards those laybacks, or you just want to get a greater range of motion, we're going to turn towards our bar, chair, whatever we're calling it. We're going to stand on one leg. I'm standing on my right because I am. Um, it's actually, my stand has been inside will be stood on the left, but I'm giving you the right one first so you can see my position better. Rotate the hips out. They are open and square to the, the chair. I'm pulling the body up. Turn that strongly, glutes engage. Ribs in, hips under, strong core. I'm just going to move a little bit forward. I'm, I'm going to push my pelvis towards the chair, initiating the back bend. In skating, if you want to get your lay back called, for instance, it needs to come from the lower back. There has to be a significant bend in the lower back. It's not enough to just do this. That's not a lay back. And the tech panel are going to give you zero for it. So to get your lay back counted, to get your higher levels, difficult position it's got to come from here so the pelvis must push forward and the lower back massage I then follow through and drop the shoulders back and let the head drop back as well maintaining the turnout as I do say and try not to look directly at the Sun okay same thing with the other foot so rotate out show you the other side so hip rotated nice and square Turning out, that's where that first position in the warm up exercise came from. Okay, I push my pelvis forward, start to arch my back, knee remains turned out, and I can then follow through, curving my spine and letting my shoulders and head drop back. That's the balance and recover. Okay, you can do it, some people like to do it with an extended leg. So it's exactly the same pelvis first, strong abdominals. Lean back, keep the hips turned out though. Okay, I'll just show you a uh, face behind so you can see. So, with the foot turned out, I just held at the ankle, staying square to the side, you can see my hips don't move in that position, and I push the pelvis forward first, let roll through, arch in the spine and lean back, hello, my head drops and I can recover on the other foot just to show you with the extended three leg position, hips turned out, same thing pelvis forward, and then follow through, arm up, but that's not advisable, you can give it a go if you're careful, but probably best and to show you quickly here, facing forward, and you'll see that my core will stay square. To the chair, and I'm pushing my pelvis, my hips towards it, other foot, just with the toe. Oh, I'm too close. <laughs> there. Oh, back. It is very important, let's just move that out of the way, to finish that off with a nice forward bend. You can do this stood up, seated, whichever feels better for you, feels like it's good for you. You can bend the knee slightly, let it hang there, feel that back curve the other way. Reach out and straighten the legs gently. 
very important that we reverse the back bend. I'll bring my bone up one vertebrae at a time. And as I said, there are previous videos to go over that roll down, but it is extremely important after you do any intense back bending. And that is that. Bye bye, have a lovely day.